Welcome back to another Avid Max Tying Tuesday. My name is Kai and today we're going to be tying up the Stubby Chubby. Stubby Chubby is a new pattern by Umpqua Feather Merchants. Uh, came out just this year. It's kind of the little sister or brother to the Chubby Chernobyl. And rather than extending and just keep pushing the limits of the Chubby, they came up with an entire new, entirely new fly. Um, today I'm using the Stubby T hook which is the XT050 from Umpqua. Uh, this hook was actually specially made and designed uh, for this fly. So it goes together really well. It's a super sticky hook, um, great for hookups. It's got that V-locking bend in it, um, which we'll show you here after the video. Um, it's awesome. It's been a really good fly for me on Alpine Lakes all summer long. Uh, a lot of stream, Spring Creek kind of fishing with it as well as uh, a little bit of fishing where I'd usually fish a hopper or a beetle pattern on, on some larger uh, rivers and stuff. So overall been a really good fly and we're gonna get going. First thing first, I'm using a UTC 70 in tan. Um, could use black, could use all sorts of things. I like to use a, a thinner thread on most of my flies. Gives you uh, more room to air. Make a few more red flat thread wraps and it's not going to totally over bulk and ruin your fly for say. So a nice easy base there, nothing too special. Next thing we're going to do is take some 210 UTC thread in the fluorescent orange color and we're going to use this as the hot butt uh, tag here on the fly. I think the tag, the hot butt on this fly is kind of one of its more important and favorable features. Um, I've fished these flies all the way down to barely having any legs left, barely having any wing left, and it, as long as your foam stays intact, as well as this hot butt, um, it's gonna continue to catch fish. So, can be a really good representation um, and can be substituted for all sorts of hatches. Uh, they make it in a UV purple, a yellow sort of color, uh, cinnamon, and today I'm doing the tan variation for you. Um, but really a good substitute for all kinds of hatches, you know, stoneflies, terrestrials, uh, you name it. If it floats or on top of the surface, you can probably use this fly uh, to represent it. So really like the versatility of it. Um, cut down on the flies you need in your box and it's been a really effective pattern. So next we're taking our foam. I pre-cut this uh, with a little V in the back like they do. The front kind of a typical chubby sort of cut, nothing too special. Uh, we'll flatten out our thread a little by turning it counterclockwise to make sure we don't slice our foam right off. Uh, we'll give it a couple, two, three wraps there. Make sure it's positioned where we want, and then go ahead and tighten that down. I like to go over, under a couple times, just to prevent it from rolling over um, as I start catching fish with it. So there we are, got the nice profile there. Next step, we're gonna take some Life Flex and Tan. Uh, typically, I would like to use a sexy floss. It's one of my favorite leg materials. I also like the barring on it, but we had this on hand, so this will do. I don't think legs on patterns like this um, are super important. Um, you know, can they help? Can they make a difference? Totally. Uh, but for the most part, you can use all kinds of things for legs on it. So go ahead, start tying these in. I typically leave them nice and long to tie them in. Uh, it makes it really easy to work with. Uh, it does create a little material waste, but at the end of the day, it's not too much. So we go ahead and tie our legs on on either end of the fly, and we're also gonna put some legs up front too, so. Next step, we take our UV ice dub and tan. I prefer to fish the tan and cinnamon variations. Um, I just like that they sort of represent 
more of a natural bug, but still have a really nice shimmer to them due to that UV properties in the dubbing. Um, the purple one's also great. Uh, I would throw on purple more so if I'm fishing a high alpine stream or lake um, for some little browns or brook trout. Um, I find that they are pretty enamored with the purple. Um, but other than that, I like to keep it pretty natural. Um, natural and simple with the tan. So go ahead and wrap over the legs there. Kind of like a typical chubby. And we'll make a nice dubbing noodle and continue dubbing up all the way to the eye of our hook. And don't stress too much about your dubbing amounts on here. Um, I've fished them quite dubbed up and buggy and done really well. And I've also fished them a little more slender um, with a tighter dubbing noodle and also had a bit of success. So play with that, um, play with your dubbing noodle. Um, experiment. So keep our get dubbed up here to the front of the fly. Nice and tight, kind of pull out some of that extra nonsense. And again, we'll flatten our thread out a bit so we aren't slicing right through our foam as we wrap down on it. Same thing, I like to go over, under a few times just to help keep that fly from rolling over. You get there, nice profile, three different body segments. Next step, we're gonna take a little bit more of our tan life flex and we're gonna add in our front legs make sure they're nice and even as you can possibly get them Next thing we need to tie on here is going to be our wing. So the wing on this is a nice natural look. Um, today I'm using the Sparkle Emerger yarn in the cream color. Uh, you could go a little darker with a bit of a tan or something. Um, but one, the cream is nice and visible. And two, I think it has uh, some good natural hues to it. Uh, so we go ahead and Put it in there, real simple, tie it back. I like to fold the V over um, to do this. Go ahead and leave a tiny bit of slack up front and catch that down there. Um, as you see, it leaves some extra material up front, no big deal there, um, but that really helps lock it in. And as you fish it through the day, you're pulling it out of fish mouths, um, it's getting beat up, your wing's not gonna fall out uh, if you make sure to go ahead and do that V, so pretty important but minor step. We'll keep that nice and long till the end. Next little piece I'm putting on is gonna be some fluorescent orange Antron. Today I'm using the spooled Antron. Um, I personally really like the spooled Antron. It's less of a mess, you waste less material. Um, it lasts longer than a bag of the old kind of classic Antron, so big fan of that. Uh, you probably don't need to put on this little hot spot on top. It's kind of more of a fisherman visibility thing, um, but this is the way Umpqua does it. And on some of those low light or even high light days when it's tough to see, it can really help. And same thing, we're gonna do the V. Leave a little slack here. Catch that with your thread and pull it back. So you can see again, I have a bunch of material up front, not gonna matter to the fish. Uh, you could try and trim it out. Uh, I don't see any need to, as we're gonna be covering it with a little dub in here in the next step. So we're gonna get a little bit more of our tan UV ice dub here. Get a nice messy noodle on. Wrap that over a couple times. 
Make sure everything is nice and tight. And there we are. You could finish over the legs and over the wing, typically with foam flies, any sort of hopper, chubby type fly I tie. I like to just go ahead and do it right in front of the eye here. Um, I think it locks in a little better and holds up better over time. So there we are. Give that a nice whip finish, pull it tight and trim it off. And now it's time to clean it up and make it look fishy. So first thing first, we're gonna trim off this fluorescent orange Antron here. Uh, typically this is gonna be done a little shorter. Again, this is for the fishermen, not the fish. Um, so do what you will with that. I like to keep it pretty even with how Umqua does it. And on the back wing, um, like you do with most wings, take it all the way to the butt, just about clip it off there. And you can see it's got that nice double wing, um, real visible, real easy to see. Next step, we're gonna trim off our life flex legs here. I like to take the front four and pull them upwards. Can be kind of tough getting those back ones out of the way. Pull those upwards and make a nice even cut. Um, just a real simple way to make sure your legs are somewhat even. I know the fish don't care, but um, I'm a little bit OCD, so. Go ahead and take our back legs there. Pull them backwards and do the same thing. Um, I like the front and back legs. Oop, one got away. Front and back legs on this fly to be pretty even. Um, not really too much shorter or longer in the front or back. Um, gives a real nice look. Last thing I do, take a dubbing brush, brush those wings together, keep it nice and blended. Trim off any stray fibers from your UV ice stub. And there you have it, the completed Stubby Chubby. Um, again, been a really, really effective fly for me um, all throughout spring, summer, and early fall. Um, the fish are rising, if there's terrestrials, any sort of hatch going on, don't be afraid to toss one of these bad boys on.